Hello everyone, we are going to start topic name as non-orthogonal. In this particular topic, we are going to look at that what actually definition of non-orthogonal is, what is the difference between an orthogonal structures and non-orthogonal structures. What actually IS 18932216 says you regarding the non-orthogonal structures. Also in this topic, we are going to look at that how practically you can design the non-orthogonal structures in ETAPS. Now first of all in this topic we are going to start with the theory part then we will come to the practical part. Now we have to understand first of all that what actually the orthogonal and what actually non-orthogonal is and what is the difference between two of the this. I am going to open my whiteboard to explain this. So first of all understand that what actually orthogonal is then we will understand that what actually non-orthogonal is. So definition of orthogonal says you that when lateral load resisting element like shear wall columns are oriented along the mutually orthogonal horizontal direction in that case we will call it that this is the orthogonal structures. In simple word I am going to explain you the orthogonal definition so try to understand here that when lateral load resisting elements so they how what are the lateral load resisting elements they are the columns and the shear wall right. So when the columns and the shear wall are oriented along the mutually horizontal directions. So if you want to take an example of what actually this means to say that it is oriented along the ma mutually horizontal direction. So I am going to open my ETAPS to explain you. So if you see here that we have a lateral load resisting systems like columns and the shear wall. So these are the lateral load resisting systems columns and the shear wall. And if this is oriented along the mutually horizontal directions of your global axis you can see that we have a axis of y and the x so if it is oriented along with that then we will call it that this is the orthogonal structures we can clearly see here that we have a lateral load resisting systems like a columns and the shear wall and this is oriented along the global axis only so let's suppose that if you have any shear wall like this in inclined shear wall so if it is inclined shear wall in that case it is not oriented along the axis here. So if you see that if you are going to look at this axis is along this but if you look at this axis it will is it will be somewhere like this. So this is not oriented along this axis. So when it is not oriented along this axis then we will call it as a non-orthogonal and if it is oriented along the axis then we will call it is it is a orthogonal. Anyhow we are going to study the non-orthogonal part in very detail. So I am coming back to the whiteboard to explain you the non-orthogonal part. Non-orthogonality. So first of all let us understand that from where this topic has been taken. So this topic has been taken from our code IS 1893-2016. So let us open that code. So we are right now in IS 1893 part 1 2016 and when we will come into the page number 7 you will find this. So let us come to the page number 7 to find out the topic known as non-orthogonality. So we are in the page number 7. Let us look at the clause which is 6.3.2.2. So we will study this clause and we will try to understand that what actually this clause says you regarding the non-orthogonal directions and what is the remedy they are telling you that when your structure is non-orthogonal in that case what remedy you have to follow it. So let us start reading this clause. When lateral load resisting elements so they are talking about the columns and the shear walls are not oriented along mutually orthogonal horizontal directions. So they are telling that the lateral load resisting elements which they will have their own axis are not oriented along the mutually horizontal directions. So if you look at that here the orthogonal horizontal plane directions are the x and the y and if your lateral resisting elements are not oriented along the x and y in that case the structure shall be designed for simultaneously effect due to the full design earthquake load in one direction plus 30 percentage of design earthquake load along the other horizontal directions. So if you have this case then your structure side will design one with the full horizontal directions of earthquake and another directions you have to take the 30% of earthquake and you have to design it. Thus the structure shall be designed for the following set of the combination of earthquake effect. So they have also told you that what are the combinations you have to take it for designing the structures when you will get it non orthogonal. If might you not understanding that what actually they are talking about that lateral load resisting elements are not oriented along the mutually or hor orthogonal horizontal directions I am going to explain first of all this thing that what actually they are talking about that. So let us come to the ETAPS to explain you that what the sense of not oriented along the mutually or orthogonal horizontal directions. So when you come 
if you look at this structure we have a structure where the lateral load resistance elements horizontal directions are not oriented along the global horizontal directions so if you look at the global horizontal directions we have a x y z we also call this as a global axis also and also if you look at the shear wall which is in the form of lateral resistance elements which local axis are not oriented along the global axis directions so if you just look at in the plan view just i am going to show you in the plan view what is the problem here so just come to the plan view and uh, if you look at here in the plan view this is the your global axis and this is the shear wall lateral resistance elements and this element which you look at here that are not oriented along the global axis so if you apply the lateral forces in this lateral resistance element you will not able to apply the proper forces in this structures elements in the particular direction that's the reason why your code says you that you have to apply the forces if you look at here the line here it is clearly written that your structure shall be designed for simultaneously effect due to full design earthquake load in one direction horizontal direction plus you have to take 30 percent of design earthquake load along other horizontal directions also so if if i am taking this example in my e tabs here what i have to do i have to consider one direction full forces so if i am considering for the x direction let us suppose that i am considering for the x direction forces and i have to design this shear wall this particular shear wall then i have to take 100 percent completely of x forces and also i have to take 30 percent forces of y directions also so x will be used 100 percent and y also you have to give it 30 percent for designing this shear wall and also if you're considering for same for the y direction then this will be designed 100 percent of y direction plus you have to take 30 percent of x direction for designing this shear wall maybe this you have to take it for the other columns also so if you are designing these columns for the lateral strings elements then you have to consider this load combinations only for designing further one important thing that if you are designing any columns as a gravity columns in that case you no need to do that also one very important thing that I have to make it notice here that if you have a structures in that let us suppose that if few columns are non orthogonal and few columns are orthogonal let's suppose that here you can just see that if I am seeing this column this is the orthogonal case so if you look at that your columns axis if you just watch the column axis this is X and Y the column axis and the global axis are oriented mutually so in that case this column will be designed only for 100 percent of X so in that case you only take 30 percent of Y along with your design so you have to take it only the 100 percent of the X no need to take it 30 percent of y also but if i have to design the shear wall here if you look at it this is the shear wall i have and if you just watch the local axis of the shear wall just i will show you the local axis here so for looking the local axis you have just have to press ctrl w as a shortcut this is the set display option will come here and in this option you need to only go to the other object of assignments here and here you will find the cell assignments in this you just click on local axis option here and if you click here you can just see that local axis has been came here of the shear wall so if you just watch here that local axis is the shear wall and the global axis are not oriented along mutually horizontal directions so this is the reason why this will come under the non orthogonality right this already explained you before and if the situation is the same in that case i have to design this shear wall along with that non orthogonality which is given i square 93 but if i have a columns here in this project which is not like that so if you just see that I have a four columns here which is an orthogonal column so if you just watch here this column if you look at this column if you look at this column if you look at this is the four column which is the orthogonal column so in this column I'm going to design this column for the 30 percentage I have to design only for the 100 percentage of the X only so this is very important thing that you have to keep it in your mind you have to design the columns only which is the non orthogonal which will come 30 percentage extra forces from other directions so this is a very important thing that you keep it in your mind that you don't need to design every column for the non orthogonality with the 30 percent of extra forces now we are going to implement this clause in our etap software so once again i will show you the clause here so if i will open the code again is 193 part 1 2016 i will find a clause of 6.3.2.2 this clause i have already explained you that that when the lateral load distinct elements are not oriented along the mutually orthogonal horizontal direction in that case a structure shall be designed for simultaneously effect due to the full design earthquake load in one horizontal direction plus 30 percentage of design earthquake along other directions which is 
shows you like this so set of combination will become something like this for applying x let's suppose that if you're applying for the x then you have to give it x 100 percentage of the earthquake forces then y you have to consider 30 percentage extra same thing if you're applying for the y direction then y will be applied 100 percentage and x will be applied 30 percentage so when you actually when you use this combinations for generating the load combinations then you will find here that if you're considering 1.2 dead load plus 1.2 live load plus 1.2 earthquake of particular direction then you have to additionally add one more load com load here which will be 30 percentage of y which will be of other directions so again if you look at for the if you're applying the same load combination for the y direction then 30 percentage you have to add it for other x directions so this is going to be continued for so same thing we are going to implement in the ETAP software in this load combination and we'll try to look at that how in the ETAP software it is very easy to implement this so let us come back to the ETAP software here and uh, for doing this you have to go to the define option here first of all I will make this as in the 3D view you have to go define option here you will find the load combination option you will click on this and after that this will come here so you can just see that here by default we have a different load combination generated by the software here on the basis of the load cases so in this project we have done the static one so you will find that a static load combinations are there so you can just modify this to show that let us modify the udcon s3 to see that what the load combination is this so if you find here that we have a load combination of dead plus live and also we have earthquake which is of factor 1.2 here so this is the same factor you can just see that if you just watch here that uh, we have a same load combinations here which is the 1.21 but in this there is no other direction earthquake force are included here so only we have to add this other direction earthquake force and this load combination will work for non-orthogonal structures so what you can do you come back to the ETAP software here and just what you can do you can just add an option here and you can just select the EQY here so when you're going to select the EQY you don't add it completely 1.2 as a scale factor here what you have to do you have to give it 1.2 multiply by 30 percentage so you can give 0 0.3 here and you just enter this so the new scale factor will come of 0 0.36 so like that you can add it one more method of adding is that see you can just follow this method so like that you can add it for for all the load combination so you can just add it for this load combination also so here you have to add it of eq y which will be of minus 1.2 multiply by 3 so this will come minus 36 if you come back to the code here to see that you can just see here that we have to add it plus also and we have to add it minus 1 also you don't need to add it currently plus 1 you have to add it for minus 1 also so the new load combination which will be in it apps of minus 0.36 after that you have to click ok then this load combination will be there now like that you have to make it for every load combination this combo now this is the one method you can just go for it in this method for every load combination you have to add it other direction earthquake forces also so if you are here if you look at it we have a EQY here then obviously we have to add for EQX also other directions here so there will be EQX here and uh, In this method for every load combination you have to create a other direction earthquake forces also so if you have if you're in the UDCON S10 so if you modify this so here also you have to create for EQX that will be of 1.5 multiply by 3 and there will be a minus sign also so you just give it minus sign also here so for creating the non-orthogonal load combinations so we have done as per our code here now I will tell you one very easy method also so this is actually very easy you don't need to change it for every load combination you will change only in one load cases load combination then it will get reflected in the load combinations also so this is just an alternative method so either you can go with this method also or even you can go with that method also so this method actually it required to change for every load combination so that it actually takes times to do that but I will share one easy method which is very easy to do it and in the one change you c this change is going to reflect for the every load combinations so what is that method is that I will just give it here as a cancel because I don't actually require this method because this is very 
time taking method so i will share very easy method for creating the load combination share with non orthogonal effect now go to the define option here you will find the option called load cases you will click on this and after that eqx and eqy load cases will come here now in this load cases only you have to modify this so you have to click on modify and you have to add eqy here so already there is eqx and in the load type you have to keep it load pattern as a and the load name will be eqy and the scale factor you have to give it as a 0.3 now here only you have encrypted the eqy also of 30 percentage so in the load combination you no need to give it extra here 30 percentage this is encrypted in the load cases only okay so this is very easy step so in the eqx only you have encrypted the eqy load cases also so 30 percentage you have encrypted in the eqx only now in the load combinations you no need to give it extra there as a 30 percentage for the other directions of earthquake forces this is encrypted in the load cases of eqx then this is automatically taken in the load combinations so you no need to extra add it there so you just give it ok same thing for the eqy you have to modify this so 100 percentage will be of eqy then 30 percentage you have to keep it for eqx so eqx you have to give it a scale factor as a 0 0.3 which is of 30 percentage now you have to give it ok and finally you have to give it ok now you have to design your lateral resting system with non orthogonality directions with this load combinations that you have to keep it in your mind one very important thing that whenever you actually make the load cases of 30 percentage extra and when you come to the define here in the load pattern you will find the eqx here so this don't need to give it any eccentricity here so just give it eqx direction only don't keep it eccentricity here so same thing in the y also you don't need to keep it the eccentricity of eqy here you just keep it the earthquake forces in the y directions only okay i think it is very clear to you the only logic you have to keep it in your that when there is a non orthogonal lateral resting system in that case you have to give it 30 percentage of earthquake forces extra there of other direction let us suppose that if you are considering for eqx as a forces here then eqx will be given 100 percentage plus you have to give it 30 percentage of eqy directions also forces so this thing is given in the is 193 2016 in the close of 6.3.2.2 here so same thing we have done in our edap software a very very important thing you have to keep it in your mind while designing the structure here that let us suppose that we have a structure here and in this structure there is a non orthogonal lateral resting system and there is a orthogonal lateral systems so while designing your non orthogonal lateral system in that case only you have to consider 30 percentage extra horizontal forces coming into the other direction in other orthogonal lateral resting systems you have to keep it same only you need to consider any extra other direction 30 percentage load there so you have to just create the load combination you have to design with the load combination only but for the non orthogonal lateral resting system in that structural element should be designed for particularly that load combinations that you have to keep it in your mind while designing the structures no need to design the structures which is orthogonal with 30 percentage of extra other direction lateral forces that you have to keep it in your mind while designing the structural element.